I am alive and it is a great day to be alive. How's everyone doing today? You guys liking my upload frequency on my videos? I'm digging it. Hopefully you guys like the uh, quantity I'm putting out lately. Today we are checking out the Hystrix. This is a really neat weapon. I'm obviously way behind on this review, but hey, I'd still have fun doing it. And up here, yes, yes people, the lens build video that I keep telling you about. Still polarizing this thing, still working on it. It's just, um, oh man, going to a CAD and just mindlessly leveling a weapon. It's just, oh, oh it drains my enthusiasm. So I didn't want to start my day with that because then I'm too tired to make a video. So let me show you what I've got on this thing. I have Hornet Strike, Prime Pistol Gambit, Lethal Momentum because I really like the fact that it makes the uh, needles travel faster, Lethal Torrent, Prime Target Cracker, and Barrel Diffusion. Um, this is actually a really fun weapon to put some crit chance and damage on because as you'll notice, this gets the critical chance up to 64.8%, which is really not bad and that's for ever every single projectile type because the uh, main draw of this weapon is that on the fly you can change between the four main damage types so i don't have any other elements on this weapon to boost the damage uh, i wanted to focus on seeing how effective each raw damage is being able to switch between them and that's what's nice is that all of the damage types have the exact same stats just different damage types and the reason that that's nice is because you'll never make a build for this weapon and it's only good for poison or it's only good for electricity damage i feel like they really succeeded here they've managed to make this a more fun weapon than say you know the euphana i either end up building it for the primary or the secondary and not both but yeah, this is a cool build. Let me go ahead and stop talking though and show you guys what this can do. I personally have been having the most fun with the poison quills, but don't worry, I'm going to demonstrate all of them for you. So no, this is not a build or a gun that I've managed to be able to just kill level 10,000 enemies with, but I don't care, it's still cool. So if I show you here the poison quills, you proc not only, oh my god, just look at all the toxin procs. It might only be for 13 damage each, but look at all those procs going. It's just really fun to hear all the, the needles poke into them. Also, with the flight speed, you'll notice they travel really fast. Look at the multi-shot, too. That's supposedly only 16 quills, but look how many it spits out. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'd be lying if I didn't say this was totally inspired by the Needler from Halo, but I don't care because it's awesome. So I'm going to spawn another one here and we are going to pump him full of the different elements. The only thing I don't like about this weapon is you cannot change the element while you're reloading. So it makes it feel kind of slow, but I'll go ahead and unload a round of toxin. We'll switch to fire. Get that into him. Yes, we're inflicting you with everything today. Enjoy electricity, not super effective against this guy. And then last but not least, some cold. But I find, honestly, against just about every single enemy type, the toxin quills tend to be the most effective, which I find very interesting. But I'll spawn some different enemy types and see if we can't get some different results here. All right, I've got an infested charger here. We'll try fire. Just see how that goes. Did he seriously just jump off the ledge and kill himself? Doesn't that respawn him, though? I thought. Hello? Infested pooch, where have you gone? Okay, well, he literally committed suicide. He's like, no, I've been in this simulation before. Please, I have to find a way out. Ah! S import the Wilhelm scream there when he jumps off the ledge. I'm going to ask you to not kill yourself this time. Oh, wow. So as you can see, against a level 80 charger, this gun just absolutely toasts him. It melts him into oblivion. It's wonderful. Here, let's get... We need something tougher. Way tougher. Let's do... Let's do, like, three ancient healers. Just to see... Just to see how that goes. Um, and we'll see if fire or toxin is more effective. So here goes the fire. Oh, wow. That is very nice. Yup. Crisped him. Cooked him to a crisp. Let's do poison damage now. I, yeah, see, I think it's just as effective as the fire, only the toxin procs stacking upon each other. Yeah, it just seems way more effective. We'll do some corpus just for benefit of the doubt, and we'll test some electricity and poison and all kinds of, all kinds of goodies on them. Let's go to the corpus here, and we will do some, just an elite, an elite crewman at level 80. See how that goes. Hey, buddy. You're gonna get shot today. How's that make you feel? Stop running. You're gonna mess with my results. 
Oh, wow. So, yeah, as you can see, toxin damage is, is more than enough against these guys because it just cuts right through their shield and procs their health bars. Um, let's make you a lot harder. How about that? Oh, this new cursor. I don't care for it. I mean, look, I'm maybe, you know, it, to play devil's advocate, maybe there's there's benefits to it, but I, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't like it. I think it was fine just the way it was, but... Um, all right, so yeah, look at his health bar. It doesn't matter how many shields he has. How many? It doesn't matter how much shield he has. Don't twitch your leg at me. But yeah, you guys, this is a really neat weapon. You can buy the blueprint for this in the market with some credits, so it's not terribly hard to obtain. I do believe, though, that you need a Bolto pistol and uh, a Viper, I want to say, to go with it. I could be wrong on that, but it's not hard to make, and it's really fun. Like I said, it's not the most effective weapon I have, but it's a great weapon to play around and just have different builds and uh, give it a shot. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As always, I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.